Morning, Julesy here from Julesy Designs um, and Jetty Creations. This is um, not doing anything for the journal. What I am doing is I'm going to do some um, decoupage on book pages, and it's basically to take um, to to go in the the journal, but to go in any journal. Um, I'm using some remainders of napkins um that i've bought these are tesco's tesco's could be tesco's or asda's these two i've bought online and that's got the louvre and the eiffel tower um this is part of a a b journal uh, sorry b journal i did use it on my b journal but that's the second um so like you know it comes in three ply the first ply was yellow with the bees on well this is just the second layer that i took off and i thought i'll not throw it away because it's quite nice um these are some of the ones i got in cyprus last year they just do little um napkin sets and i thought they were quite nice for autumn so these um tags will do anything um so just and what i'm using is i'm using reeves matte varnish i don't know whether this will work but we'll try it anyway um i really should have my my messy mat down but i haven't got it um it's packed away i'm just wondering if i would be better using glue um we'll see what this is like i have got a mixture of mod podge um that's been watered down that's ideal um for this kind of crafting I'll try this one. Oh, it's got a bit of fluff on it. And we'll cut this off. A bit of fluff it's probably stuck to my fingers it is and then we'll just rip this and we'll rip it at the top because I don't want to a straight edge and then we'll put some we'll see what this is like um if this doesn't work I'll revert back to my mod podge it seems to be working and i'm just doing a bit of a collage um on these book pages just to see what what comes of it so i hope everybody's okay um, we're still getting ready for our trip to Cyprus. We're just waiting on the the results of the PCR test, but my husband has had COVID um, and we were aware that, you know, once you've isolated and everything, um, it can still show up in your, your system. If that happens, it happens. There's nothing much we can do about it. Um, well, just at the moment, the, the airline that we're going with will let us change the flights up until the 31st of January. So it just means we'll go later. Um, a couple of years ago, I couldn't see me accepting that. <laughs> I'd, have been, <laughs> I'd have been up to Haido 
panicking but now I'm like oh it is what it is there's nothing much you can do all right we'll take some of this one take the, I don't know what it's going to be like when we've finished but Over there. Oh, I'm dipping the brush in a bit too far. So I just wanted some crafty time, and I just I was. watching youtube and i saw this being done so i thought yeah i've not done this for a long time so i'll have a go at some of this again today and if it turns out all right i'll cut them into tags and i'll take some with me so you might see them in the travel journal you might not if you're watching this video you know it's turned <laughs> it's actually turned out all right a bit of right so we'll leave that one now what i do want to use is i want to use some of this one because i like this one um and i think it'll be nice on a I'm just going to rip it down the middle. I don't want to Do I want that bit on? No Do I want that bit on? Yeah, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to change for the Mod Podge. Just give me two seconds. Right. So this is just Mod Podge that I've. That's if I can get it open. It's just a thin dilute of of Mod Podge. Um, I've just mixed water with it. Um. It may make the book page uh, wrinkle up a bit more, but I think it stays sticky a bit more than the the varnish. Trying to get a good coat on it before I start working it into the paper. Yeah, it has got more water content in than this because I can see the print coming through from the other side. We've got some on the bottom here. Use my Costa card just to spread it about a bit. I need to put some under here. I think the fact that I'm using old um, book pages, um, the paper will absorb the, the glue any, it'll absorb any 
water or liquids that you put on it so I'll put some over the top And we'll see what these turn out like. And all I'm going to do with the book pages, um, Stick it onto some craft card. Well, back it onto some craft card. We don't need that there, so we'll cut that bit off. And we'll let that one dry. Um, I'll put this one off. The next one. Yeah, it's soaking into the the book paper quite quickly. It's nice to do on um, coffee dyed envelopes. Um, this decoupage. Yeah, to go in your journals. I've done that a few times. Um, I was inspired by Artie Mays, um, Andrea um, from Artie Mays. She does it a lot in her journals and it always looks nice. And then she stamps on hers as well. She puts a, a, like a mail-in address in the, the middle of the envelope. Um, but she's got a laser cutter so she can make her own stamps. I've got something similar. It's not a laser cutter, but you can do them with your, with your scan and cut. Yeah, that's dried a bit too much. Got some wrinkles there, but never mind. This sinks through and sticks as well, so it's I'm just having a play about, see what's what. I mean, I quite like the wrinkles, you know, if it dries with wrinkles in, I don't mind them. You can um, use a, a fine um, emery board um, and sand them off without taking too much of your, 
your, your decoupage picture off. So we'll just leave that one to go. Um, will we try this one? I just want to see what it'll look like on a book page. And if they're too fat you, to make tags, if you don't want to lose too much of your picture, you can make journaling cards out of them. And the, the paper's white anyway, so it, you kind of lose the, the straight edges. Well, most of the time you lose the straight edges. Um. Right, we'll put that one on there. Dipping this in too far. Could have put some clear gesso on and just primed it, and then uh, maybe the the glue would have stayed on top more. I'm not quite sure. Um, I know it works for other colorants and things like that if I'd have thought but then this is just an experiment so so when I go out on holiday and I go into supermarkets I'm always on the lookout for um napkins and invoices you know cards and um, stationery just to see what i can bring back with me and use especially if it's in a, a different language oh it's all right I mean, you don't have to put this on paper, you can decoupage anything, you know, if you've got some old boxes, um, old tins, trinket, you know, old trinket boxes and things like that, if you want to upcycle them. You can even do this on um, furniture, um, you know, bedside tables, um old dresses things like that if you're not going to use it just you want to get into that you can get the the old newspaper decoupage sheets and things like that it looks quite nice especially if you do it in the is it the chalk gray So that's all we've got. Um, I don't know whether to try this on. Hmm. Yeah. 
going to do another one. I'm going to do some of this. I was going to stop and do, but I'm not. I'm just taking this totally in half and then I'll decide which bit I want to use. Right, it's a continuous pattern anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, do it down there we might put some bees on it to see what they look like if they don't turn out if they're not sort of like strong enough to show you can always put some nails over the top of them again the sides oops bit shaky this morning I've just took my medication and it always makes me a bit shaky when I've just taken it but it doesn't stop me crafting Right, we'll try some of these bees. No, there's that side. I want this bottom bit taken off because that had a the actual napkin itself had a turquoisey blue border right round it which kind of spoilt it <laughs> so it'll help a little bee here oh he's all right he's showing And See, this is me just putting on top of I'm just ripping it off so that I've not got a lot. And there we're going to put this one up here. So this will be a, a long tag. Okay, so here we are back. I've cut them. This one's... So 
So we've got a, it's a bit skew whiffy, but never mind. The writing is anyway. Get your fingers out the way, Julie. So I'm quite pleased with that. And once we've inked it round the edges. And if it's too long for your journal, you can always cut it. Um which I think I will because that looks that's it there we are and there's that one so we'll As I say, these are not fully dry. Um, I have saved some of the bits that I cut off because they'll do for like bits of snippets and never throw anything like that out. It comes in handy some somewhere. So what I will do is I will do all these offline and I'll come back to you and show you the finished product. Thank you. There's the finished product. I haven't put any... Um, ribbon or anything in them because it'll depend on the the colour of the journal it'll probably be white or I might even put some fibres and threads through them so it just old book pages um, napkins and some card and try um i'd like to see what you've done um i don't have a facebook yet but i do have a facebook i have instagram you can follow me on any of the links below um so thank you very much thanks bye